Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Mark Doty and appears in Atlantis, published by Harper Perennial in 1995. The poem I'm going to read is entitled March and begins with an epigraph from Fenton Johnson's The Weight of Memory. I'm so lucky, my lover said to me, again and again in the last year of his life. March. I thought the choice was to love austerity or not to love at all. But when I went out to look at the elemental, I found nothing sparse, only this density and saturation, dusky sedge at the pond's rim, thicket and tumble of violet contradiction, plum stems, a whole vocabulary of tone and hue, demanding a history steeped in the long practice of luminosity. How difficult just to say what's here in March, severity, try. The sky's a complicated scheme, and Grisail, the sort of vault that used to host ring the used to host rings of saints around the rim of heaven. From the footbridge, the pond scoured stainless, wind driven, aluminum water shivers and unwrinkles just above the ice, a steely sheet interrupted by fountaining grass, lichen maps on the beaches, banks stippled in sullen milky greens, and out of the ice a dozen gulls pose for Whistler, a composition in twenty aspects of gray. Severe music, something atonal, Japanese. And though the world's locked in sear, pilgrim winter look, transparency, depth. Here in lustrous sedges at pond's edge, in violet tumbling thicket, nothing spare, the subtlest dazzlings, progressions of argent and indigo. Even in the mosses, summer's deep-watered greens, verdigris, copper, grazed and cropped chartreuse, fixed and fired here in the cold, the world's glazes embedded and swirled, arcs of pigment on marbled paper, frozen, galactic, held. That was March by Mark Doty from Atlantis, Harper Perennial, 1995. If you enjoyed this reading and this poem, please do check out the description of the video for more information about Mark Doty, as well as where to purchase a copy of this book um, and a list of other projects and series I'm currently working on. Um, in general, if you want to support us, feel free to, well, subscribe to the channel, comment on these videos, hit the like button on the videos, or simply share these videos as links in social media and help promote uh, these wonderful poets and these terrific poems. Uh, if you yourself are a poet with a book out and would like to be featured on the series, please contact me uh, and let me know uh, how it is I can track down a copy of your book. I'll do my best to do that and try to work you into the schedule. Um, and uh, in general, I wish you all the very best uh, as we continue to plod forward into summer. Uh, it is June, and for many of you, you're already deep into summer. For some of us, uh, Summer is taking a little bit of time to get here, where we have our hot and warm days, and other days are cool and a little chilly at night. Um, but I am grateful for the warmth of poetry, for its imagination and fire, and for the opportunities which we have to celebrate these wonderful poets and to be introduced to the world of poetry and imagination, to hear the voices of others, to be inspired, to be reminded that we are human and that we are around and surrounded by other humans uh, who are not that different from ourselves. Uh, thank you for being a supporter, a viewer, uh, a watcher of this series, and I hope in many ways uh, to continue to, to promote and, and celebrate poetry through this series. So I'll be back every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Uh, stay tuned for the next video and the next poem and the next reading. Until then, I wish you all the very best on your own creative journey, uh, be it through poetry or fiction or art or music or whatever it is that uh, you find as your means, your medium to communicate to the larger world or to plumb the depths of yourself and to understand where you are in this great cosmos. But whatever it is, I wish you the best on it, and I wish to see you again soon. So we will be back again, and uh, until then, stay safe and well, keep reading, keep writing, 
and we'll be um, here again with another poem and another reading soon enough. Thank you.